It's me, Luke Mick, and this is the thing that I have been waiting for personally, and it is me showing you my Blu-ray collection. This will be a yearly update um, every year. This will be the 2013 edition, so welcome to Luke Mick's Blu-ray collection 2013 edition. Now, if you saw the intro video, which I'm sure you did, you could see that uh, there's quite a huge stack, and huge stack equals long run time. So I'm going to try to go as quick as I can. And there's movies that I really kind of want to just talk about. I'll, I might trail off. That's kind of uh, kind of what I do. But I mean, I'll make it as quick as I can. But I know a lot of you guys like watching uh, YouTube or Blu-ray collection videos. Um, I used to actually, I watched some really weird collections on YouTube or just, I don't know. I, I just find some of it interesting sometimes. So I'm just gonna start off um, with a movie that I really liked in theaters because the 3D was just phenomenal, like it was really good. But the movie itself is so dumb, and I watched it in 2D, I was like, my god, this movie blows. And so do all of its, uh, all the other movies in this, uh, freaking cash grab franchise. And that's Resident Evil, uh, Afterlife 3D. I think this is the only Resident Evil movie I have on Blu-ray. And I bought the 3D edition, because I was stupid when I bought it, thinking that it would come with just a pair of the red and, uh, what are they, red and purple, something like that, glasses to watch the movie. But no, I need a 3D TV, so I was real pissed off and bummed out. So when I watched it in 2D, I was like, wow, this, this movie sucks. And it was like 25 bucks, so I just want to explain myself that if I, like, yeah, this, this movie sucks. I'm just going to try to defend myself with that. So, um, where to start? Uh... So, this was Universal's 100th anniversary this year, as well for Paramount, but I didn't buy a single one of the Paramount uh, red-cased movies. I was about to buy Ferris Bueller, but it turned out that that edition was 15, and there's just the normal edition was 8. But it's the same exact thing, except there's just a red slipcover on it. So I was like, you know what, screw Paramount, they're, they're, they're stupid. So I did a lot of the Universal ones, though, and I'll just do them in chronological order from when they came out. And the oldest one I have is The Sting. Um, I watched this movie, and it's pretty good. Um, I'm just, you know, this video is going to be so long. I feel like I'm already explaining too much. I don't know. But I do have to kill Mockingbird, but when, they, when they've been sending me these, um, they haven't been get, they've been sending them to me like this, like without the cover or anything, and I keep sending them back, so... I think I'm just going to give up on that, but obviously I have Jaws, I haven't watched it yet, um, I don't know why I haven't watched it yet, I don't know. Uh, another one I got, I think my dad bought this one, and I wanted him to buy it, it's The Deer Hunter, and I haven't watched it yet, uh, probably because it's so long, but I believe it won Best Picture, and is that Christopher Walken? Looks like I'm going to have to watch this soon, um, so yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, the other Universal one I got was Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Uh, I like this movie, this is a funny movie, and I actually got uh, the shoes, the vans, so, yeah, I always used to wear those shoes anyways, but, alright, whatever. Uh, I also have The Breakfast Club, um, another movie similar to Fast Times at Ridgemont High, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I got, I got Parenthood, I don't know why I bought Parenthood, it, it, you know Best Buy's $5 deal where you can bring in a DVD and get $5 off a of Blu-ray? I kind of was on a Blu-ray high at that time, and I was just buying these like crazy. Like, I'd come home with like five a day for like three days, and uh, I just bought it because I could get it for $5, and that's about it. I haven't watched it yet. I, I'll watch it someday. I just haven't been feeling it. I also have Babe. Um, I got this more to be funny or just to piss people off, but it's supposed to be really good. But, and it's been a while since I've seen it, but I'm going to watch that sooner or later, too. Not even opened. It doesn't... Nope, I didn't. I haven't even opened that one. A lot of these Blu-rays you'll notice haven't been opened. Now, this one I watched right away when I got it, because this was a classic blockbuster childhood movie of mine. It is The Mummy. I, I just think this is a really fun movie. And the CGI, it, it's just... It's not great, but, I mean, it, it does its job, and it, it, it's actually kind of scary, I, I, I would say. 
It's pretty creepy. So, yeah, we're... Uh, God, this is going to take so long. We, ah... Uh, okay, I have the Born Identity. Uh, yeah, Blu-ray. Universal Anniversary. Um, 8 Mile. Love 8 Mile. This movie's sick. I wish there were some more bonus features on here, though, because it's actually pretty interesting. Um, sea Biscuit just got this for Christmas um, to get it at the end of the year. I like Tobey Maguire a lot, and I saw this movie a long time ago when I was really little, and I really enjoyed it, and I don't know why, because it seems kind of like a movie that bore me when I was a little kid, but I guess I liked it. Uh, I don't know why I ordered this one, to be honest with you. I think I just wanted to get as many of these as I could because they're a limited edition. I got Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, uh, starring Jim Carrey and Kay Woodslet. Don't even know what it's about, but I have it, so there, I'll watch it someday. I have the Born Supremacy. I watched this, obviously, getting ready for the Born Legacy, which sucked uh, major cock, but, yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, King Kong, I, this, I really like this movie. Um, Peter Jackson's a pretty damn good director, and uh, I think this is one of his fun movies. I don't know what the hell, I wouldn't say better, because Lord of the Rings and Dead Alive, but... Whatever. Uh, and then the last Universal Anniversary um, movie I have is The Bourne Ultimatum, which I, I watched uh, The Bourne Identity and Supremacy right before Legacy, but I didn't watch Ultimatum, and that's because I just kind of ran out of time to watch it before I went to the uh, Legacy, and I remember this one the best because it's the newest, pretty much. Alright, we're getting on to more of our sort of normal Blu-rays. Uh, I'm just kind of throwing them to the side. This is going to be a huge mess to clean up, but when, I'm going to... How many... Six minutes, I'm, I'm making okay time. This video could get up to an hour. I hope not, though. I'm, I'm stalling. All right, I have The Crazies, uh, fun movie, first movie I saw on D-Box. It's, it's pretty good. It's entertaining enough. Uh, this movie, I really love this movie, Star Trek. Uh, it's I got this for Christmas. It was one of my first Blu-rays. And, yeah, I think this is just, it's a really great remake. And I never really watched Star Trek the old stuff. I, I never got into Star Trek. Star Wars, on the other hand, I got into that, but I never knew a thing about Star Trek. Saw that movie and I loved it. Uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I've only watched it once, and that's kind of a shame due to its uh, confusing nature, but um, I'm going to watch it again and try to put everything together. Very confusing, but also very, very well made and put together. Great movie. Check it out if you want your mind bended. Uh, I have Adventureland. This movie... I got this movie on Blu-rays were still pretty expensive, and I, I wanted to see it because I had just seen Zombieland, and I like Jesse Eisenberg, and I was like, the case just looks fun and happy. Doesn't that look like a nice case? Like, looking at this case, and it's kind of thinner, too. It's just a nice-looking case, and uh, said it came with a digital copy, and this was on Blu-rays were still expensive, um, I'll say it again, and it's an on sale for $24.99, and I was like, well, shit, sale? I better buy that. So yeah, I paid actually quite a bit for this, but I, I don't. The movie, it's a good movie. I just wouldn't pay that much money typically for a Blu-ray anymore unless it's a brand new release. Um, I got Black Swan. I really like this movie. One of my favorites of 2010. I saw it at this showcase where you see all the nominated movies, and I thought it was very entertaining and enjoyable. And I, I might have been rooting for it at the time for best picture winner. I'm not sure. Oh, but then we also have The Fighter, which is another great 2010 uh, nom Best Picture nominated movie. And The King's Speech, that which won that year, I was really disappointed in the uh, Academy for that. I mean, that's not really made for, mo for me. It really isn't. And I just thought the whole thing was completely useless. I'm not talking about The Fighter. I'm talking about The King's Speech. It seemed like just kind of a pointless movie. Like, I don't know. And then we have Unknown. Um, my dad randomly bought this in Florida. Uh, yeah, I don't, I've ne I'm never going to watch it, so I don't even know. Uh, here we go. I got all these. Uh, they came out this year. I got American Pie, American Pie 2, which I just watched the other night for the first, not the first, I've seen it on TV, but that doesn't even count. So let's say the first time. It was good. And I haven't seen American Wedding yet, but I have that one as well. So I just have to get American Reunion, but yeah, they're kind of losing their slip covers. I like the slip covers. They look nice. I don't want just a normal case like this. I'll just randomly do this. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, I don't want a case like this, but this is Pleasantville. Um, I watched it for the first time when I bought it on Blu-ray for five dollars because it was the Best Buy five dollar trade and save. And this is a really enjoyable movie. I think it's funny. I like Tobey Maguire and the rest of the cast as well. If you haven't seen it, it's good. I think it's from the same director of The Hunger Games. Which, by the way, I have The Hunger Games. I never saw it in theaters, and I didn't want to. Because I'm a Battle Royale kind of guy. And, uh, 
I watched the first 18 minutes and 21 seconds of that movie, and I shut it off and watched American Pie 2 instead. So yeah, that just explains my hatred for the Hunger Games. All right, I have Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Ra oh, what the? Oh shit! Oh, why well, I was about to say Roger for some reason? That I'm ashamed. Edgar Wright, one of my all-time favorite directors. We have Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and Scott Pilgrim. All hilarious movies and with the perfect direction and perfect amount of action. I, I love him as a director. And Scott Pilgrim is one of my, it really, truly is one of my favorite movies. It's just so fun to watch and I can't get enough of it. I just got Ted um, for Christmas. I haven't watched it yet, but I really wanted to watch it again on Blu-ray. And yeah, I saw it in theaters and I thought it was pretty good. So got it for Christmas, which is good. Hello. I am really thirsty. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, I bought this on Black Friday last year for $18. I don't know why I paid so much, but it's Bridesmaids. I liked it when I saw it in theaters, but I have not watched it since I bought it over a year ago. Um, I've wanted to watch it. I've asked a couple of friends of mine if they want to watch it, but they're, they're not usually in the mood, so I just haven't watched it. I don't want to watch it alone, though. I just feel weird. Uh, well, Paul... Very similar to Ted, I just realized from a friend of mine. Uh, Paul's pretty good. Um, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are a, a good combo. It's, it's not as good as Hot Fuzz or Shaun of the Dead. Uh, my dad bought Safe House. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I'll give it a chance, though, because it has decent scores on the tomato meter. I like uh, Denzel Washington. Ryan Reynolds is okay as well. So I'll check that out sometime. And this is honestly one of my favorite movies of the year. And by the way... Um, Within the next week or so, I will have a video of my um, Oscar predictions for what movie. I'm going to just say 10 movies. 10 movies that I believe would could get nominated for Best Picture. And then I'll do my top 10 movies of 2012. Just so you guys can see uh, what I thought. Because there were a lot of good movies this year. And then I guess there were a lot of bad ones. I didn't see a lot of the bad ones, fortunately. But... Yeah, uh, Moonrise Kingdom. I love this movie. One of the best of 2012. Definitely check it out. Uh, it's got a great style. It looks amazing on Blu-ray. Definitely get it on Blu-ray. Oh, man. This is getting tiring. I should have brought some water down or something. I can't pause this, though. Get him to the Greek. Uh, I like this movie. I, I don't really like Russell Brand, though. He just seems like kind of a douchebag, but Jonah Hill is always good. Uh, the South Park movie, pretty cheap, pretty funny, um, I'm kind of burnt out on South Park, though. I have the Jackass 3, this is a fun movie, um, good memories. Poor Ryan Dunn, unfortunately, passed away. I was pretty bummed when I heard that. Uh, Super 8, I haven't watched this yet, and it seems like a movie that I would like, uh, due to the fact that they're making movies in it, but I'm gonna have to watch it sooner or later. How long is this? Yeah, it's not even two hours. I'm, I'm not going to watch it tonight, but maybe tomorrow night. Uh, Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol. This is um, definitely the best in the series. Very entertaining popcorn flick, and I, I love this movie. It's, it's really fun to watch, and Tom Cruise, being 50 years old, can still do all the badass shit that he used to do. Hobo with the Shotgun, um, one of the best B-movies I've ever seen. Very bloody and gory. If uh, gore isn't your thing, then this is not your movie. But it's just Rudger Hauer. Uh killing a city that's pretty it's scum city, or no, it's called Fucktown, um, it's a scumbag city. Uh, Fight Club, definitely, definitely, definitely check Fight Club out if you've never seen it. This is honestly, it's in my top five for sure, uh, movies of all time. I love Fight Club. It is so sick, uh, it's just crazy and cool, and that's all there is to it, just watch it. Kick-Ass is another fun movie, um, I saw it in theaters, and a lot of people gave me flag for it, me and my friend Tyler saw it. Everyone was making fun of us, saying the movie looked like shit, but it was actually good. And then they all saw it, and they're like, oh, wow, we're all dumbasses, because we gave them shit for liking kick-ass. I don't know why I added that little story in there. Uh, it's just what I thought right when I saw the case. Boondock Saints, uh, I hadn't seen this when I bought it, and it's a pretty damn good movie. I like it. It's fun. I keep saying fun when I'm describing my movies. All right, now we're getting to the ones that are uh, not open. Well, some of them are going to be not open. This one's open, and I watched it. The Cider House Rules, a good Toby flick, really good movie. There's there's ass in this movie, there's tits, and it's just, it's PG-13. It's it's good stuff. Uh, we have The Lookout, 
Um, I got this on Black Friday for four dollars, and I haven't opened it. Um, but the cast looks pretty damn good. Joseph Gordon Levitt is in it, which is good. Cool Hand Luke also got it on Black Friday for I think four bucks. Um, I haven't opened it yet. Just and it's rated GP. It says GP on the back. Try to look for it or pause this video, but it says GP. Uh, I also got this on. These are most of my Black Friday movies. I got this on Black Friday this year. Uh, Man on Fire. Haven't seen it. I'm not a huge fan of Tony Scott. I don't, obviously Ridley Scott's a much better director, but Tony Scott, though, I'm looking at his filmography, and it just doesn't look very good, and this doesn't have a very good score on Rotten Tomatoes, but I'll watch it. It looks really cheesy and a lot of shaky cam. I was watching my, saw my dad watching, and I caught some of it. I don't know, but I do love True Romance. That movie is so good, and I think it's partially because Quentin Tarantino wrote it. Uh, Mission Impossible 3, this is the last Mission Impossible movie. I don't have one or two. I don't think I'll ever buy them, but I only really bought this because it, it was the best one out of the first three, in my opinion, and it came with a free ticket to the fourth one. That's like the only reason I bought this. It was like 10 bucks. This is another one of my... It's not in my top 10, I don't think, but it could possibly go in my top 20. It's American Beauty. This is a great movie that won Best Picture in 1999. Kevin Spacey gives a wonderful performance. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. American History X, um, uh... Look into white supremacism, or whatever you want to say. Good movie. No Country for Old Men, a Coen Brothers classic. One best picture. Really good. Uh, watch it. Alright, let's... Oh gosh, I'm going to drop like half of these on a second. Bounce them with one arm. Oh, okay. We have Burn... Oh god. Burn After Reading. Haven't opened it yet. Ordered it from Amazon. I just haven't gotten around to watching it, unfortunately. Fargo with DVD, but we're going to see this again later because I have the Coen Brothers collection thing. Snatch, um, hilarious, great um, English movie, mostly English. Uh, Layer Cake, I just watched this for the first time and I was really excited. And I don't know if this movie is supposed to be confusing as shit, but it was. And me and my friend couldn't follow it. And then we talked to uh, our really smart friend Jermaine and he didn't even know what the hell happened in this movie. So, I don't know, we're all just going to have to watch it again when I'm in the mood. Uh, the Departed. I haven't watched The Departed, like, I know it's, it just feels long to me, like, I know it's supposed to be amazing, I'm sure I'll love it when I finally watch it all, but I've started, since I bought it on Blu-ray, uh, last Black Friday, I have started watching it twice, and I get about an hour in, and then I either fall, like, I always start it really late at night, either I just fall asleep or I decide to do something else, I don't know, and I don't think I lose interest, it's just, I just, I don't know, I'm really... Oh, it's like, I don't know, I forget it. Platoon, uh, great Vietnam War movie. Heat, a uh, great heist movie. I love Heat. This is a good, uh, great movie. Uh, I also have I Am Legend, a uh, good Will Smith movie. And then we have Space Jam. Yeah, a sick movie with Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny. Great basketball movie. I don't even like basketball, but the movie is sick as hell. Uh, I have Watchmen. Watchmen's a really great superhero flick. Um, one of my... I, c I could say one of my favorites, I guess. Uh, and Memento. Memento's a very confusing uh, thriller, and it's it's really good. Uh, twenty. Okay, I have opened 21. I bought this for $4 on Black Friday, like, two years ago. And I just bought it because it was pretty damn cheap for a Blu-ray. $4, I think I said, or I think it was. But I haven't watched it yet, and... I've seen it on, like, HBO, like, most of it. And it seems per like it's worth $4. It, I don't know, I like Kevin Spacey. Uh, Rounders, I haven't opened it yet, and I got it kind of recently. I just haven't gotten around to watching it. Edward Norton and Matt Damon. This movie's amazing. Primal Fear with Edward Norton and Richard Gere. Um, Edward Norton gives a great performance. If you're a fan of him, check this movie out. What's the clock looking at? Oh, my God, 18 minutes. I cannot do I'm hungry. I want to go make it. Holy shit. It, there's so many more. I gotta go. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna talk about it. I have train spotting. I love that movie. Uh, what is this? Requiem for Dream. Haven't opened it yet, unfortunately, but I just got it. Uh, Paris to Tam. Watch it twice already within like two months. Very um well made uh French film with a bunch of stars. Purple Rain. My mom bought this, and that's all there is to it. Uh oh god. Well, I I think these movies look good on the shelf. Um. Like, just the way, the colors. Um, I have Fast and Furious and Too Fast, Too Furious. I haven't opened them yet, but I've wanted to watch Fast and Furious lately. Because they just seem like they're just kind of fun movies. Uh, Source Code. I like, this is a good Jake Gyllenhaal movie. Um, 
entertaining. Donnie Darko, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, we have, like, what, it, four discs in here? This thing is a beast of a package. Buy it. Donnie Darko is one of the best movies of all time, in my opinion. Big Jake, my dad bought it. Some John Wayne Western. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be good or not. I'm sure it's supposed to be okay. Uh, my dad just got Lonesome Dove for Christmas. Uh, I just kind of found out about it, I guess. Robert Duvall and Tommy Lee Jones. It's a mini series. I just bought 310 to Yuma, um, so it was $4 at Target, and I've never seen it. Blood Diamond, I am not a huge fan of this movie, but it, whatever, it, it's good, but I, I just don't um, appreciate it as, uh, as much as some other people. Uh, to Live and Die in L.A., my dad bought it, I haven't watched it yet. Okay, uh, Black Hawk Down, a great uh, war movie, modern war movie. Uh, the Crow, I'm not the biggest fan of it, it's good, and... It's just, I just don't see as much in it, I guess. Mad Max um, with DVD, I just watched it, most of it. I was kind of catching uh, glimpses of it with my dad, and it seemed pretty badass. And then I found the Road Warrior um, amazing find at Half Price Books. Uh, Clockwork Orange, uh, great movie. Really odd, but it's really good. Um, I haven't opened this yet, kind of newer as well, uh, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, I believe it was like 5 or $6 dollars on Amazon. Silence of the Lambs, watched it for the first time not too long ago, very, uh, I guess, to me, it's kind of disturbing, but, um, it's really good, and I'm sure most of you have seen it. Leon the Professionals, honestly, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, and I've wanted to watch it a lot lately. My dad actually bought this, um, and I, I this is one of my favorite movies, and, my top five movies are always kind of changing with each other, and as of right now, this could be in there. This movie is uh, fantastic. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's about Jean Reno and Natalie Portman, and that's, yeah, that's all you need to know. Romeo and Juliet, a very um, weird but very cool movie with a lot of great music and great performances, and it's just really fun and entertaining and wild. Uh, Gangs of New York, haven't watched it yet. Um, I've kind of been somewhat in the mood, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I have The Matrix. The Matrix is good. Um, Dances, with, Dances with Wolves, um, extended edition. It's about four hours long. It took me two days to watch it. I've had this movie, Usual Suspects, for so long, but I just have not watched it. I've had it for like three years. It was honestly one of my first Blu-rays. The Raid Redemption is a badass martial arts uh, cop raid movie, and it's it's pretty sick. If you haven't seen it, it's 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 one of the best better movies of the year. It came out in 2012. Drive is one of my another one of my all time faves. Um, so disappointed that it didn't get nominated at the uh, best picture uh, the Oscars. What am I trying to say for best picture at the Oscars? And it didn't even get nominated for like anything else. I think it was like best sound editing, and that's it. And that's bullshit. Bunch of idiots over there. Eyes of March, another Ryan Gosling movie of 2011. It's, uh, I think it's directed by George Clooney. He also kind of stars in it. It's, it's pretty, uh, it's a dramatic thriller type of pol political movie, and it's actually pretty good. Um, Up in the Air, I haven't opened it because I watched it on Blu ray with a friend of mine, and then I bought the movie when it was cheap. And it's a great George Clooney movie that was nominated for Best Picture in 2009. It's, it's good. I like George Clooney. And then I have the From Dusk Till Dawn 4-pack. I got this for $5 with the trade-in thing at Best Buy. And basically, I mean, you get four movies for $5. I mean, sure, the middle two suck balls, and that's just a documentary, but I love the first From Dusk Till Dawn. Um, Goodfellas, I've had this also about as long as usual suspects, and I just haven't watched it, but I've been thinking about it lately. So that's, that's something you have to get in somewhere. I want to get this done. We have Shutter Island. I don't think I'm even halfway done. Shutter Island, great movie. Great Scorsese flick. Predator, fun movie about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now to my, mostly my Tarantino section, pretty much. We have Reservoir Dogs, the first Tarantino movie I saw. I loved it instantly. Jackie Brown, I just bought it. I haven't watched it yet, but I will someday. Kill Bill, um, not my favorite Tarantino movie, but it, it's, it's up there. And then Kill Bill Volume 2, um, another... All of his movies are good, and, oh god, oh Jesus, there goes half the, for, I'm not picking this up tonight. Well, my favorite um, Tarantino movie, Inglorious Bastards, I just think it has the best dialogue, and the best acting, and Christoph, or Christoph Waltz is just amazing, and I love Inglorious Bastards. And then I have uh, Natural Born Killers, written by Tarantino, directed by Oliver Stone, good movie, and Sin City, which is also a great movie.
Okay, moving on. Oh boy. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get these out of the way quick. I think this is mostly. All this. You guys have seen this if you've seen one of my half price bargains videos. It's just Bellflower on Blu ray. Um, a really cool independent film. It's really low budget and it's kind of. They, they like Mad Max and that's, that's all I'm gonna say. Breaking Bad Season 1. This is kind of like the TV show. So, Breaking Bad Season 1. Breaking Bad Season 2. Breaking Bad Season 3. And then Breaking Bad Season 4. So, yeah, that's Breaking Bad. Um, and then I have The Walking Dead Season 1 and The Walking Dead Season 2. And I haven't watched this yet, but it was only 10 bucks on Black Friday and all my friends got it. It's the Hatfields and McCoys miniseries. So, yeah. Right, I'm gonna. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, this got out of order big time, but what am I gonna do? Oh, uh, here comes a bunch. Oh, there goes Looper. Just bought that yesterday, I believe, and I watched it yesterday for the third time, and I have to say, it is one of my favorite movies of 2012. Go see Looper, and it's amazing. It's. It's a very great sci-fi action thriller starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis. Pulp Fiction, um, a Tarantino movie and a slipcover. One of his best movies. Um, it's I have not even opened it on Blu-ray though, and I bought it like Black Friday two years ago. So I just haven't felt the urge to watch it yet, and I've only seen it twice. And Tarantino is one of my favorites. So just, I don't know. I mean, I've seen Reservoir Dogs like a thousand times. Grindhouse Collection with. Death Proof and Planet Terror. Uh, this is the the Social Network. Uh, True Grit, Coen Brothers movie. Uh, Pile of Shit. Don't have to talk about that. X Men First Class is a, is a good movie. A lot of people said it was gonna be bad. I thought it looked pretty. I thought it looked pretty good. A lot of people said it was gonna be shitty, but they're wrong. Uh, up on Blu-ray, they're kind of in my Disney section, but it's a little out of order here. Uh, Ratatouille on Blu-ray. One my. I think Ratatouille is my favorite Pixar movie. I love Ratatouille, and I really like food. I'm picky about my food. I'm kind of like a food critic, too. But if food tastes good to me, then food is fucking awesome. Uh, Finding Nemo. It was only twelve ninety nine, and I, I'm not a, I don't really like Nemo at all. Like, this is... I know people are going to bash me for that, but, I mean, I don't like Finding Nemo. I don't know what it is. Uh, like, I honestly don't know what it is, though. I don't know. Toy Story 2, and... The first Toy Story. I still gotta get Toy Story 3. I just got Toy Story 2 for Christmas, though, so give me some time here. We're, this is my 3D section. Uh, I'm trying to see if no, no other 3D movies. Uh, we have real 3D. I didn't buy it, but it, it's a decent movie. Prometheus 3D. Uh, this movie is, is amazing. It's good. I, I really like this movie, and a lot of people were disappointed by it, but I personally wasn't, and I'll explain that in a later video. And then a Fright Night in 3D, and this is a good movie. I don't have a 3D TV, though, but I'm getting the 3Ds in case um, I do get a 3D TV, I guess. So, yeah, oh, and they usually come with a bit more special features. Oh, uh, jeez, this is going to be really out of, out of order. First Men in Black, second Men in Black. Uh, this video is going to be so weird. Um, Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man 3. A lot of people hate Spider-Man 3. I personally kind of love Spider-Man 3. Uh, the Avengers. I am, I don't really like The Avengers. I didn't even really like it when I saw it in theaters. Like, the whole first 45 minutes, I, I, I even leaned over and told one of my friends, I was just like, I don't think I like this movie. But I have this, um, three-pack, American History X, History of Violence, True Romance. Uh, this Stallone three-pack... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, a totally gnarly collection for dudes and dudes. That's collection. The Adventures of Tintin. I'm fucking bewildered on how this didn't get nominated for Best Animated Picture out of five choices um, for 2011. I'm fucking pissed at the Academy for that one. Oh, was this 2011 too? This is a re another really good. Oh, this is 2010. Never mind. This must have been nominated. All right. Well, I am so out of breath. I want to get some. Water. I have Coraline on Blu-ray. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas, great movie. The Aristocats, I've been getting shit for this, but uh, 
I haven't seen it in so long, but I remember really liking it, so yeah, fuck y'all. And uh Men in Black 3. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna This is gonna be a pain in the ass putting these all back. We're getting there. We are getting there. We're getting some. Oh, god damn it. I botched it. Whatever. Okay, well, I have the Tosh.0 hoodies. I was about to get the V-Next one that just came out, but it went up like five bucks, so I didn't buy it. Uh, Workaholics, seasons one and two. I really like Workaholics. It's a good show. My dad has Sons of Anarchy season three, random shit. Uh, Wilfred, I'm starting to watch this show, and I enjoy it. It seems like it's going to be really good. Uh, I have the first season of Dexter, haven't opened it yet. Um, second season of Dexter, and then my dad had bought season 5 of Dexter on Blu-ray. I don't know, so I'm going to have to get 3 and 4, and then I already have 5, so. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. I'm going to have no voice tomorrow. Okay, well, also, uh, I'm kind of in the comedy horror section. I have them in sections now. Bruno. I like it. Hot Fuzz, I like. Shot of the Dead, I obviously really like. Other guys, is actually I actually kind of like it. I'm not a big Will Ferrell guy, but I do like Mark Wahlberg. Napoleon Dynamite, just kind of a classic in a way. Hangover fucking pisses me off, and I want to break this movie sometimes. Tropic Thunder, 50-50, so 21 Jump Street is what's super bad. Now this is super bad, like all those movies. Knocked Up's good. I really like Judd Apatow. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Pineapple Express. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I don't have Guantanamo Bay yet, and I don't know when I'm going to buy it. Because I don't really like Guantanamo Bay. I don't know. It, it's not very good. Friday, which is a great Ice Cube movie. Clerks, which is hilarious. Ah, uh, low-budget movie. Office Space, that's good. 30 Minutes or Less, it's not as good as Zombieland. But I didn't think 30 Minutes or Less was, or 30 minutes or less was that bad. I think it's kind of funny. And then obviously Zombie Land, and I really like Zombie Land. Uh, Dead Alive, Peter Jackson, one of his first movies, Peter Jackson's movies. Uh, this movie is really funny, and it's really gory, and it's just, it's just crazy, and I like it. Attack the Block is sick. Um, it's an English film. And Insidious, I think Insidious is actually pretty scary. I like Insidious, and then some parts are really funny as well, though. Okay, we're, we're almost done, guys. We're getting there. I got, like, another three stacks. Oh! 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 oh. I hit my knee on the wall and bumped over. Let me in. Oh, camera's getting all out of focus. What's going on? It looks like, am I just going blind? What the hell? Oh, I'm not going... Capture my face. There we go. Alright, that was a little fucky, but, uh, let me in. I like that movie. Uh, Dawn of the Dead, I think it's better than the original, personally. The Strangers haven't watched it, it looks kind of stupid. Last House on the Left haven't watched it, um, I just wanted to see Jesse Pinkman in a movie. Uh, Paranormal Activity 3, I might break this movie. Well, I started watching this on Halloween with my friend, and we had seen it in theaters, um, but... Third or the second time, we thought it was just really gay. Drag Me to Hell. I really like Sam Raimi, if you haven't caught on to that. Um, yeah, this is a good movie. It's it's cheesy, but it's good. And then, this is... Pro These are getting into the horror trilogies and collections. And my favorite horror series is a tie between these ones. Scream. I have all four Scream movies. I love the Scream movies. Even Scream 3. And the Evil Dead series. I have uh, all three of the Evil Dead movies. And it's just a tie between which ones I like better. And then I have these shitty movies. Well, the first one's good. Saw. The first Saw. I actually really like the first Saw. And then I have Saw 2. And Saw 3 really sucks ass. And I just got this for Christmas. And I've wanted it for a long time. But it's kind of expensive and pricey. And they don't really sell it anywhere except Amazon. And that's the collector. I saw the collection. And I wasn't too fond of it. And I just rewatched this one, and I think this is a pretty damn good horror movie. It's got a great soundtrack. The acting really isn't bad at all, and the whole plot of it, I think, is really cool. And it's different, and I like it. Hellraiser, it's a pretty good classic horror movie. 
Uh, if you saw one of my older reviews, you would say, uh, know that I like it. 30 Days of Night, it's it's okay. You watch it. I'm, I kind of been in the mood to watch it, just to watch it again. It's not great, though. Hostel Part 1 and Part 2. I love Hostel Part 1, and I started Part 2 and turned it off after Jay got his head cut off. Uh, the Thing... This is a great classic horror movie. I saw the remake, most of it, and, well, I wasn't paying a lot of attention. But from what I could was picking up on, it was a pile of shit. But it was a good movie. I like the, the original. Alright, guys, we're somewhat nearing the end now. Uh, here is a newer horror movie that's really good. Cabin in the Woods. Um really surprised that this was as good as it was. When I saw the trailer, they were like in an elevator and stuff, and I just thought it looked really stupid. And then the ratings were amazing, and I went and saw it, and I loved it. 127 hours, a great survival story, um, starring James Franco. It's about Aaron Ralston. Uh, the first Sherlock Holmes, I like that movie. Second one, I watched it in theaters, and I liked it, but I couldn't tell what was going on. The action was cool. But I just couldn't follow it, and when I watched it again with my friend Tyler, we got it about an hour into it, and we turned it off, because it's just too hard to follow. Uh, Final Destin- I almost said Final Fantasy 5. Final Destination 5. Um, I just bought it because it was 5 bucks, um, and I saw this in 3D, and I, the 3D was really good. It's the best 3D I've ever seen, better than Resident Evil, but I don't have a 3D uh, TV, unfortunately, but I would love to watch that again in 3D. I might break this movie. No, I wouldn't, though, because it just looks cool. Uh, Sucker Punch. This movie kind of sucks ass, but you got a bunch of hot girls and guns. Uh, a very Harold and Kumar Christmas, not the 3D edition. Uh, I don't know why I didn't buy the 3D one. Extra dope edition. Um, this is a funny movie. It's better than Guantanamo Bay. Not as good as White Castle, though. Horrible Boss is a really funny movie. I like Jason Bateman, Jason Sudeikis, and uh, Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I love It's Always Sunny. Inception, good movie, obviously. The Town, another obvious good movie. The Descendants, one of, if, out of all the movies that were nominated for Best Picture last year, I wish this would have won, but it didn't. Titanic, um, freaking thick ass bitch. And then this is, I just ordered these, um, the Man of No Name trilogy. I haven't really been much into spaghetti westerns, but since January was coming out, I felt like I had to watch them. I didn't. Oh shit! I'm gonna have to cut this video up. Um, the camera's about to die. I'm gonna go make myself a chicken quesadilla, and I will be back after the break. Pause it for an intermission if you would like. But I have to go charge this damn camera, so I'm sorry. All right, guys, I'm back from my chicken quesadillas and the battery. It looks to be about charged enough to finish this up. All right, so I was in the middle of telling you about uh, the Man of No Name trilogy. I have that. Uh, I also have the Dirty Harry collection. I just got this recently, too, and I haven't watched any of them yet. But uh, I'll, I'll definitely watch all these someday, and I'm sure I'll love them. Um, we're nearing the end, fortunately, for me. Okay, uh, oh, we have 28 Days Later, great zombie movie with very fast zombies. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth, just watched this for the first time a couple days ago. It wasn't as creepy as I thought it was going to be, but it was cool. It was a good fantasy movie. Um, the first, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, but it almost seemed like the disc wasn't in there. But yeah, first Nightmare on Elm Street, great classic horror movie, one of the best. Um, Sweeney Todd, uh, great musical with Johnny Depp and Helena Boehm Carter um, about making meat pies with human meat. Uh, the Butterfly Effect. I, I got this pretty cheap. I think it was about $5. And this movie, it's just, it's just kind of interesting and different. And there's just some twists and turns. Some of the acting is horrendous from uh, my most recent viewing. But it's, it's still interesting and entertaining. It's a, it's a good movie. Uh, American Psycho, right? Yeah, American Psycho. I haven't watched this movie yet, but I know everything that happens. Um, but I'll definitely I'll watch it someday soon. Lost Boys. Um, this is the next movie. Uh, this is a great movie. This is um, it's not really scary, but it's it's funny and it's entertaining. It's got you know a bunch of music in there. It's good. I like it. A lot of likable characters. Uh, Gremlins Two. I like Gremlins Two, and I like Gremlins One better, but I don't have it yet. But I got this for $5 with the trade-in thing. Um, 
And I like Gremlins 2. I don't know why people don't like it. It's, it's, it's not as good as the original, but there's still a lot going on, and it's fun. Uh, the Terminator... I love the Terminator, but it's unopened, and I bought it um, two Black Fridays ago, so maybe I don't love the Terminator. I don't know. I've been wanting to watch it lately, though. And I also have Terminator 2, which isn't as good as the Terminator, in my opinion, but it's it's still good. It's really good. Um, I have District 9. I just got this um, this Black Friday, so it's not quite open yet. Um, this is my dad's movie, Hitman. I haven't seen it. I don't think I'll ever watch it. It looks really stupid. I'm sorry if it's if it's your movie, but yeah, I'm not into it. Uh, I have this Lord of the Rings three pack. It was only nine dollars on Black Friday. Those are obviously good. Um, in time, I bought this on Black Friday just because the story it, it had an interesting concept and I thought it looked pretty cool. But the ratings were really bad, and I can see in this movie how things could kind of get sloppy and you, hard to follow in it. It just seems like it'd be, it's kind of complex and how they could kind of lose track of it if they don't have a good director. And I think that might have been what happened. But I'll just have to watch it. And then I also got these. They're a $4 piece. I got, I think, uh, X-Men, X-Men 2. And I haven't seen X-Men 3. And I heard it sucks. And I'm sure it does. But I bought it just so I can see it and so I can have all the whole trilogy um, on my shelf. So that finishes up all the normal Blu-rays and the TV shows and stuff. And now we're moving on to kind of the stuff I like to showcase, the kind of like collection. So I'll start from the top. Um, I did a, a Half Price Bargains with this. It's the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. Um, I, I want to watch these with my friends, but they won't watch them. And I, I, I can see why, but I thought that it'd just be fun to watch some really bad Freddy Krueger one-liners, but I, I guess not. But I like to watch it, and my hand is bleeding because my skin is so dry. Um, I have the RoboCop trilogy. Um, this was twenty bucks, and I was in a RoboCop mood. I was on a RoboCop high for a while, and I, I watched the first two so far. Um, I do want to see the third one, even though it has four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I think they're just silly, fun action movies. Um, okay, these are my steel books. I have the Batman Begins steel book. The Dark Knight Steelbook, and then obviously the Dark Knight Rises Steelbook. This is one of the best movie trilogies of all time, I think. None of them are bad. I mean, I think the Dark Knight Rises is the weakest out of the whole thing, just because... I'll, I'll, t I'll, I'll tell you in my top, uh, top 10 movies of 2012, because it's in there, but I'm just going to explain to you something that I felt didn't really work out very well in that video. So when I put when I put that up sometime this week I'll have a link to that hopefully, but usually I don't even put a link down. I say I I will but I probably won't. So just just subscribe and look at that. So I also have the Scarface steel look. Um yeah my dad got this and I haven't watched it yet because it's I'm not I usually don't like sitting through long movies but I, I've been in the mood for it so I might watch it soon. On uh, this movie, I'm pissed off about, not the movie, but the Oscars, how they totally ditched this movie, like, they didn't even, they didn't nominate for Best Picture, and I think that's bullshit, because this is the best movie of 2011, and it's really good. I haven't, I've, I haven't seen all of the original, I've seen parts of it, and I, I, from what I've seen, that just seems like a cleaner cut of the, of the movie. So, I don't know. Uh, this was actually my first Blu-ray. Um, the Iron Man Mask Ultimate Edition 2-disc. And, yeah, we got Blu-ray. We didn't have an HDTV, but we had my PS3. And, uh, yeah, we just kind of, my dad and I just went out and bought it when it came out because we liked it in theaters. And uh, that first Blu-ray. Um, you saw this, possibly, if you watch any of my other videos. Um, Malcolm X, I haven't opened it yet, and I honestly, I'm gonna say it right now, I don't think I'm ever gonna watch this damn movie. I mean, I like Denzel Washington, but I don't like Spike Lee, he just seems like a complete asshole douche. Um, if you've heard his recent comments about Django Unchained and Quentin Tarantino, you'll know what I mean. Now this movie, this David Fincher, if, let me see here, if you haven't noticed, I really like David Fincher and Quentin Tarantino, Wes Craven, uh... Uh, Edgar Wright. I like all those guys. Those are some of my favorite directors. And this is this uh, digibook of seven 
Seven is a great movie. Um, great crime, drama, thriller, suspense movie. And it's perfect in almost every way, and I definitely recommend it. And then we have the cult classic, The Big Lebowski. I like The Big Lebowski. It, I wouldn't say it's my favorite Coen Brothers movie, but all their movies are generally pretty damn good, and this is one of them. It's funny, it's got great acting, some great dialogue, great scenes, memorable moments, and it's, it's good. Next up, we have the Taxi Driver Blu-ray. I've only seen this movie once. I watched it shortly after I purchased it, and it's pretty, it's odd, but and it, it almost, it's a little slow, because not a lot is going on, but it's still really good, and yeah, uh, Robert De Niro, Martin Scorsese, great movie. Now, I already, yeah, this is The Dark Knight again. See, I originally bought this version of The Dark Knight, because it was on sale for $9, I think, at Target, something really cheap, and I hadn't purchased the movie yet, so I'm like, I better, I'm just going to get the cool mask. So I have the mask, and what I did was I bought the Steelbook for Batman Begins, and then when The Dark Knight Rises was coming out, I'm like, well, should I get the Steelbook, just the normal case, or a digibook? But I was like, you know, what the hell, I like Steelbooks, and I'm just gonna just buy the Dark Knight again and steal book and just have two copies of it just so they can all be together on the shelf. It might sound odd, but then to some of you, it, you might understand, which I'm sure some of you do. Next up is the Coen Brothers Collection. The only movie I've actually watched on Blu-ray from in here is Raising Arizona. That's one of the main reasons, only reasons I bought this. Like, I've heard Blood Simple and Lotus Crossing are good, but I just haven't had any urge to watch them. I'll definitely watch Blood Simple first. But Miller's Crossing, I think, can wait for a while. And I've seen Fargo, and I really like Fargo. Fargo's a good movie. Uh, next up, this this was not very expensive when it first came out. I mean, it was up there. It was around eighty dollars, and now freaking Amazon's been kicking it up for twenty dollars at some some times of the year. It's the Alien anthology. This thing goes for dirt cheap now, and I don't understand why, but. It's if it's if you see it for twenty, thirty, forty bucks on Amazon, buy it because Alien is one of the best franchises in movie history, and this thing is packed with special features, and the packaging is just beautiful, and it's a really uh, great piece of it's a great artifact. I don't know why I said that, but next up we have the Star Wars uh, trilogy. People have been uh, complaining that it's the special editions of the movies and not the original theatrical cuts. But, I mean, yeah, they're pretty stupid. Like, the whole singing scene in Star Wars Episode Six with the CGI and everything, that's really dumb. But, I mean, don't don't judge the movie by that. Like, don't just not buy the collection because of that scene. I mean, you don't have to be that nitpicky about it. You can skip the damn scene if it's that big of a deal. Just stop bitching. Next up, the Indiana Jones um, Complete Adventures. I'm really excited to watch this. Uh... I was going to the day I got it, which was Christmas, but we ended up watching Toy Story 2 instead. But I will watch this. It's been so long since I've seen any of these movies, and I don't really remember much of any of them. So I think it's going to be fun reliving those moments. Um, okay, we have three more here. Uh, I'm just going to do this one. I have the Looney Tunes Platinum Edition with uh, the um, card of authenticity and the shot glass, and the little magnet thing, and all that, it comes with all the episodes, and it was $50, and me and two other friends, Tyler and Jermaine, all bought this, and I honestly don't know why I bought it, like, I watched Space Jam, and I like Space Jam, and, uh, then everyone started buying this, and I was like, well, I'm gonna buy this too, so, I don't know, I don't even watch the Looney Tunes that much. Now, two left here, this is honestly one of my favorite movies of all time, and it took a while for it to get, uh, come out on Blu-ray, and it finally happened, and I was so psyched, and I pre-ordered it, and that is the Battle Royale Complete Collection. I watched the first movie, the first time I saw it, I loved it, and I watched it the next night with a friend of mine, and I thought it was just so damn good. And uh, the packaging for this is just amazing. It's some of the best packaging I've ever seen for a Blu-ray and the, it's just got these nice cardboard pages with a ton of artwork. And what it comes with is the first movie on Blu-ray, the theatrical cut, and then the director's cut on Blu-ray is another disc. And then it comes with Battle Royale 2 on Blu-ray, which isn't very good. It's, it's, it's decent, it's kind of entertaining, and it's 
somewhat cool to see where all the characters are left off from the first movie, but it's it's not very well made at all. And it's kind of crappy. And then the last disc is a DVD of all the special features, which I haven't taken a look at yet, but I, I heard they were all in Japanese that without subtitles, but that might be some stupid lie. I don't know, what if it's Japanese without subtitles, and I'm not going to know what the fuck is going on. So, last but not least, I probably I have shown you and talked to you about this um, in videos before, and it's the Bond 50 collection. It's what I'm probably most proud of, of all these Blu-rays. I am a huge James Bond fan. I saw Skyfall, and I loved the hell out of it. And I do have to say, Skyfall is one of the best ones in the series, and it might be number one. I always... GoldenEye is... My all-time classic Bond. Like, that's the first PG-13 movie I ever saw. The first Bond movie I ever saw. GoldenEye. Um, it's a little cheesy now, but I still love that movie. And, obviously, uh, Goldfinger and Thunderball, Dr. No, License to Kill, Casino Royale. They're all great. There's some in there. Like, some of the Roger Moore ones are a little stupid. But other than that, and the Pierce Brosnan ones suck, except GoldenEye. But I'm just going to sum up this video because I am sick to death of talking. I had a good quesadilla. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing this yearly if, for whoever wants to see it, which I don't think is a very big audience, but I don't really care. I'm still going to do it. Don't forget to subscribe to me, Luke Mick, and I'm thinking of making a Twitter all about YouTube, but I'm not sure. I might, if I do, I'll mention it in my next video. And, yeah, just watch sometime this week I'll have up my top 10 movies of 2012, and then my 10 Oscar predictions, the movies that I think will get nominated for Best Picture this year. So you guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like all, all my, my collection and all the movies I purchased. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys, I totally forgot to um, finish up with this. So I'm filming it now, uh, a day later, and what I forgot to do was um, add up the total movies I have in discs, and uh, I have 307 um, Blu-rays. So yeah, that's the number, and I'll have more next year. See you guys next year, and throughout the rest of this year, because I'm going to be making videos all year.